<laughs> we'll get this all working. That's true. That's true. Okay, so guys, um, I upgraded to Windows 11 this week, and we didn't realize that it fucked up all the sound. So I'm trying to get the uh, the guys back into their sound under properties. Uh, uh, oh, bring the beacon in, right? Should be beacon. Say something. Beacon chat, right? There we are. There we are. Beacon mix what? create. I've, I've, yep. Have you fixed Windows' dice roll? We have, roll? we yeah. have, we have, we have, we have, no, we can't fix Windows' dice roll, so. We finally so, got it. There's Discord noise? What's Discord noise? I think Discord noise is basically if there's a, if you get a ping, like, you hear a ping. Uh, no, ping, yeah, that was. And everybody freaks out with that, because they're like, oh, somebody added me in some place randomly. You, you mean, you mean the, the nice yeah. thing they added to Discord, where if you're, you have mm. someone's. No, I think, it, I think it was. I think it was an Amazon Chime ping that came in to me yeah. um, although, as I was adjusting although, although sound. Technically, this, this is something Discord has added in uh, a few days ago. Um, hmm. If you have someone streaming in your channel, people can put uh, sound reactions uh, under that. And yeah. even if you're not watching there. the stream, you hear the sound reactions. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Which is really so, fucking annoying. So, so we, Especially we, if we, you're playing a very tense game. Yeah, so we're going to... Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna go. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the uh, December thirtieth push to talk okay. show, the end of year show. Goodbye, twenty twenty three show. Um, you missed our little chat about the sacrifice of the uh, pop tart at uh, one of the college football games, uh, yeah, bowl we games about, actually. Then we talked about America the Sun Bowl, football and we did, and all that good happy shit. And so we're not gonna rehash it because it just. And then I know. mentioned how. Uh, and then, and then Caleb was mentioning how rugby, uh, how American football is to rugby, as what is to what. Yeah. It, it what Americans did with with rugby is similar to what uh, the American car industry did when they decided not to have only two colors. It exploded the market. Yeah. So and, then, and, then I and then I mentioned just because it makes a lot of money does it not mean it's good. The, the market in all of. The USA, and then I no, 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 no. And, that and, and, spread yeah, yeah, to the yeah. rest of the world too. It became way more uh, uh, rotational. You, you got way yeah, more. Now, now, uh, we, now we have now, now we have like casinos and gambling sites plastered all over fucking everything in football. Well, casinos and stuff. I'm pretty sure that was also a, a, a thing uh, everywhere else. So that was not really an innovative uh, part of it. It was uh, the whole thing of what, how they, they, they have all those uh, quarter things and, and, and the time breaks and, and uh, all of that just makes it so perfect for TV watching. It, it, it stretches the yeah, drama yeah. out. You know, you know how a series can, or, or a movie can, can pull and yank a, a drama out to last forever? It's very mm -hmm. much like that. It, it's, yeah. it's genius. And, and there are many things that you can... Uh, criticize Americans for, but when it comes to to over uh, extreme dramatization and and marketing of stuff, they are just geniuses. Yeah, they are good right. at marketing. I still think it's uh, boring as fuck. What what is boring as fuck? Football. European football. Both. But that's your general attitude to, to sport. <laughs> if you were into it, you would know and understand that American sports is way more dramatic once you are interested in it. It, 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 it paces the drama so much yes. better than any other sport. Yeah, sure, but I am not interested in, in it, right? So it is that's still boring as fuck to me. But that's fine. You're not. You're not. You're not even remotely close to being a potential customer. So no one in that business cares about your opinion. 
Hey, that's by the way, that that, yeah. that you don't oh, like God. opera. No, and like, yeah, no so one in fine. any of these cares and uh, gives a fuck about any of our opinions, but we still give it regardless. Yeah, that's true. We do. <laughs> we do give it whether you care or not. We don't really give a shit whether you care about our opinion. Why do you think they took the the football in in proper football like soccer and made it lighter and faster? Same thing. You get more drama. The um. As as we're, I'm trying to catch up with I the, mean, uh, the there, chat, there's, right? There's a lot of things that you could do to football that would make it more dramaful and like crazy. And they have, um, and they haven't. <laughs> but, well, they By have. The, way, if, the if majority of the game on... has not changed at all for a long period of time. The only additions are really kind of like the, uh, you know, the the VFR stuff, and the fact that, as you say, the ball's gotten gotten lighter, right? So, well, the fact that basically if, if you if you watched a match from the fifties or sixties and compared it to a match from today, I can guarantee you the drama and the speed and the pacing is magnitudes bigger. Magnitude, that's, that's, it's completely that's, changed the game. It just to, took longer. That's due to athletes. That's just that's literally down to athletes. Like that's that's down to the fact that athletes are, you know, just you know. Significantly better than they were back in the day. Like, but it's not just athletes because fundamentally, you would, you can argue that they were as good. It's just that if you don't have the same amount of training, and the same amount of dedication, and the same amount of money, you can't nurture a game pace that we have today. Some degree of technology, yeah. Uh, and the fact that people have money to be able to like fight to 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 mainline just being a football player and rather than being a football player and something else on the side sort of thing, fair enough. I'm sure that the women's football teams will be nearly as good as the men as soon as they are allowed to be funded properly and can actually train five six days a week. What do you mean I'm, they can't train I'm five or six days a week? You clearly yeah. haven't been to U U.S. women's soccer. Well, the professional uh, women's soccer have a um, lot less uh, equipment, a lot less hours of training yeah, possible. There's a, there's a lot less they invested have to into usually them. have uh, jobs at the, on the side. There's a lot uh, less see. invested into them, and a lot of that is down to the fact that there are people, there are people in their institutions that are fundamentally sexist still in football. Like, you know, the classic kind of thing <laughs> is in the UK, we... we you know, people were basically saying, like, why the fuck can people not purchase, you know, the goalie uh, jersey for our women's football, uh, you know, football. Uh, and this isn't a national and team. It was just like, well. and, this isn't yeah, like this a, this a is club. A this is... team. Yeah, it's a national team. And people would just be like, oh, but, you know, it's just, we don't think this really, it will really sell that well, et cetera, et cetera. Like, basically, and then they, then like, they put they it out. trying to do it. And then they, they finally, they were pressured and pressured and pressured to put it out. And they finally put it out. It sold out within 10 minutes. I just, I just want to say that like, you, you folks over there across the pond, you really need to catch up with, uh, you know, the modern times. Here in the <laughs> U.S., the men's and women's team split all winnings 50-50. Well, the, the, the main the problem is that same uh, programs. Uh, I think the main problem was that sexism crept in when the when the British Football League decided to actually ban women from football stadiums. Yeah, like <laughs> I it just actually threw them out. <laughs> it was it was to before I, before like women's football became not a thing anymore. It was actually yeah. more pop, more popular than men's football. Exactly. I, I, I will, and then I will, they banned them from the stadiums. I will. Uh, I will say that you know the U.S. women's team used to be amazing when they didn't have the sharing of all the income. Ever since they've shared the income, now they suck. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just I don't know. <laughs> but I used to love to watch the U.S. women's team till they got all crazy, and then you know nobody watches them anymore. But. They were they were a little it, it, they were a little upset. They were a little upset because when they went on they 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 fought for parity of contract and sharing of all the income, which they won. But then when they also had to share the same health care plan, they were a little upset because their health care plan was way better than the men's health care plan. But uh, at that point, you just at, at that point you just up, upgrade both to the better 
deal for yeah. I like yeah. That's right. You, you don't downgrade a healthcare plan. You upgrade uh, the guys who didn't have a un- unfortunately plan, apparently. Unfortunately, yeah. that wasn't the subject of their lawsuit. The subject of their lawsuit that they won was they wanted to be equal with the men, and so they got equal with the men. And now that's that, see, this yeah. is just like rules lawyering and dumbassery uh, once no, again. But you know, no, such as such as the way of really. life. You know, not really. Um, not really. It, 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 it was one who is not even remotely interested in this topic at all. <laughs> Well, well, let's put it this way. Quality. If you all want well, a better health care plan, you have to accept less money. So. so, all right. Well, hey, a lot of drug tests for the company are coming in today. So that's always interesting. So, hey, um, are we... Uh, Eric Harris going to spend the entire show sidetracked by drug test results. <laughs> drug test results. I've had, <laughs> since since we actually fixed the uh, the audio, I've probably had five drug test results come in. And it's a Saturday. Drug test results don't come in on Saturdays. What the hell? They're trying um, to get them done before New Year so that <laughs> yeah, they don't have to so, work in, in the first so couple of days next week. So they take a drugs test when they're full of drugs. I'm doing payroll, so I don't know. I'll be doing payroll <laughs> tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking is they don't want to have, they don't want to be taking a drug test on Monday when they've just taken loads of drugs on Sunday. There you go. No, 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 no. These are the results coming in, so it means they did them they, three days ago, right? So, yeah. They all went in yeah, and like take the drug test before New Year's so they could take all the drugs on New Year's. That's right. Good. The, the, lab is, uh, <laughs> the lab is processing all of these as fast as they possibly can so that they don't have to work the not, start not next saying, week. Also, they can just take a couple we, days easy. Not saying that we condone anything illegal, any, any illegal practices, but like if it's legal in Absolutely. your state, go for it. There you go. You know, um, let's 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 talk a little technical stuff because uh, Eric, Eric, uh, you know, Eric does something. What? Yep. Did We're we talking technical something? stuff because you broke something. Oh no 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 no, 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 no. that was no, 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 no. Dirk Dirk. Let's let's not let's not point fingers straight away. He did upgrade yeah. Windows. That was yeah. that was Microsoft breaking stuff. So, so I got a, I got a new little light speed mouse, right? Wireless charging, all that stuff, or you can plug it in and it'll charge right in the front there, right? And then I got the uh, Logitech PowerPlay mat, which is sitting right here, right? And so I'm sitting here, and all morning it's okay. been telling me low charge, and it like hasn't been charging the mouse. Have you got the magnetic charging puck thing that goes with the mat in the mouse? What this thing? Yeah, I, 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 it's been in there. It's been charging. It's been fine. Um, See, finally, uh, I'm, I'm I'm sitting here being smug because my <laughs> mouse has a fucking cable. Well, my mouse I has have... a cable too. So my mouse has a well, cable too, but I can also. But here's my old mouse, with like with the know. cable, right? I I have this one, Whatever. right? And I can I can take the cable out and just charge the mouse too. But I got this cool little mouse pad because it was. Cool, and you know, my number two son couldn't have this, and I couldn't not have it, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to be jealous. Is that how that works? <laughs> no, I, I I wanted it for me, and I and it and it worked for his. So, not the whole mouse pad. Yeah, I don't. Only certain part of the mat actually charges the mouse. No, I think the whole thing. No. Well, which is it? Just the There's Logitech like coil in it, one. so. What? It only charges in certain areas. How can it only charge in certain areas? They don't say that well, in the end. That's how that thing works. Yeah, it's got I don't a, think so. There's, there's like coils and stuff. That's it's how magnetic that's induction how the, charging. Yeah. yeah, that's how the that's how the charge actually transfers wirelessly. If you if you if you look in if you like break open a uh, a, a charging like a, a wireless yeah. charging pad thing, what you'll find is you'll find like a big coil. A wire. But how do I find on the pad where it's charging? How do I know? Uh, move it around the pad until it starts to say it's charging. I mean, it, it's either that or it's in the instruction manual, user manual, whatever. Like, you know, normally that say something. Or you have. Uh, a <laughs> Did you actually plug it in? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually plugged in. It's charged before. Are you I think sure I, I by the way, it? by the way, I, I, I found where it charges. I did. You are you got you are one hundred percent right. It's not like the whole fucking pack. That's like yeah. bogus. Well, it's not bogus. That's, <laughs> That's bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> by the way, by the way, it's it, it's <laughs> not this a, technology it's is too part. damn limited, damn it. <laughs> the uh there should be multiple little yeah. places to charge this motherfucker um on this pad. Because you know. But it, it should also I, I will be say, indicated on the pad, I feel. Like if it's if it's only yeah. a location, it should be indicated on the actual pad itself. Well, like, I'm gonna this tell you lined kind of little fencing sort of area. Like that's all you need. Like it doesn't need to be like massive fucking pointer saying Car only charge here sort of thing. Like it can be like quite subtle. Right? Yeah. Like just like a circle in the area, right? Sorry. Yeah, it really is only like one spot. Either that one or, spot. Um, either that or D brand should like make a skin for it that you know shows the underside <laughs> of it. The it would be it. nice if a light lit up or something somewhere on the charging. Thing. But yeah, but you know if you know if D brand makes a skin, then uh, D brand and what's his face Jerry everything are just going to have to go through another lawsuit. So. <laughs> That's true. Maybe, maybe Jerry Rig everything should come up with the uh, the internal skin of the uh, the charging pad. Yeah, but that would mean Jerry Rig everything would have to come up with uh, his own ideas. Ooh, Ooh. that's fine. <laughs> that's what that is. That's kind of cool, though. So the only way I know that it's charging is if I bring up the the Logitech, um, you know, G Hub. And I click on the, the you know, I it's the Pro X Super Light 2, right? So I click on that device, and it has a thing that will say charging. If yeah. I get it over the right spot, right? And then I did like it because it, uh, it has a pad that's either hard or, you know, material, right? They have a plastic or material, and I kind of like that. But what I found is, at least the way I use it, um, Way I slide my hand around the uh, particular thing, I, it 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 doesn't stick kind of in one place, right? It, it moves a little bit. So it's not mm -hmm. quite. So there, there's good and bad in in this. I like um, not having to worry about the uh, thing. So the charging is uh, is kind of good, and, and it also has um, two modes for the. Uh, or the mouse, right? Optical or hybrid, they call it, right? Hybrid is a little more, a um, little more uh, uh, lighter on the battery, right? So it is, it is mm -hmm. kind of interesting, yeah. So, and by the way, I, I've kind of searched on that all day to why it wasn't charging, but on Reddit and stuff like that, and I could not find exactly what you told me. Only one spot, really, on the whole pad charges it. So I got to remember to. Kind of leave it there when I leave. Hmm. Okay, so Eric's mouse is never going to be charged again. <laughs> <laughs> because um, nobody ever remembers the things that they need to remember when it comes to shit like this. <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's also one of these things where if you've made a wireless mouse, at least make a situation that charges it effectively and easily and, like, you know... Because otherwise, you, you're just making a wireless mouse that people are going to just use wired. True. For the for the like large majority of the time that they have it, I almost got I I, I can't remember if it was Razor or Corsair, but you know when you were done, you kind of just put it on its own magnetic little stand, right? Yeah, and, yeah, like, uh, and, and it was kind of cool looking. But I'm sitting there going, and you could use like that wired too, right? Little, and and little that was kind of cool. But I, I I decided to spend you know twice as much <laughs> on a mouse that you can only charge. Like in one twenty percent of the mouse pad. No, 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 no. It's probably I'm going to tell you it's maybe ten percent of the mouse pad. Lol. Okay, <laughs> it is. That's shockingly poor. I'm just saying. This, this was a it, good decision, Eric. Well done. <laughs> well, you know, I'll just uh, da -da 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 -da, fourteen thousand different. Um, I'm going to sit here. Oh, actually, shit. 
<laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> I, I went to put my yes, phone over top, right? And it, and it and I dropped it right on the fucking mouse. <laughs> And the oh, mouse okay. went flying across my desk. You know, it was, it was, so let me get, okay, here's charging. Okay. So, mm -hmm. okay. Don't want to take a picture of the ceiling or Eric's head. All right. <laughs> so we'll get a picture of that. Hold him. I'm going to stand up. Hold on. <laughs> oh okay. my God. Hold it. Don't want my wallet in the picture. <laughs> or my. Or random what, credit you cards. Mean you, don't fancy, yeah. you, you don't yes. fancy doxing yourself with uh, yeah, yes, all of this. Yes, Aaron. everybody, we are yeah. doing this live. We're doing it live, baby. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, when we fix the sound. You know, we do it all fucking live, right? Exactly. So, all right, so we got that. The only way we could be more boomerish at this particular point in time is if we're taking a, 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 a photo of a screen. Boomerish. On, on X. I love it. I love it. And so, you know, here's where we go. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, uh, King, sometimes it's a four digit code when you're dealing with Eric, uh, three digit code. But let me, uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I shall, I shall just tuck into some cider. Oh, you want, you want me to make it even more stupid? I didn't take a photo, I took a fucking video. <laughs> oh my god i love it so I this is really annoying kind of like live photo uh, thing bullshit that they, they they sometimes do and it's really annoying because if you accidentally hold the button that you're taking that, that you used to sort of take a photo on an iphone it does this yeah. live photo thing which is just basically a video that's all it is it's a video that they've decided to name live photos because I mean, they can, because they need because basically because they need a slap across the face. That's what's that's what's it, happening it, there. It, well, Apple's needed a slap across the face for a long time, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter for you anyway, Matt, because you wouldn't see it on your screen. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm unsure quite how much of this show is actually actually going to be about the the year that we've had. Well, it's uh, been a no. not bad year. <laughs> to be no, we we no, can no. say that. Like, well, this is the reason why I late why I named the the show the um you know how it is you know end of year I, opium edition because yeah. in actual fact when you think about the shit that's happened in Eve and stuff all the way back. Oh, I was I wasn't even, I wasn't talking about Eve. I, well, I was talking about, yeah, <laughs> just generally, you know, for the, for the people on the crew, it's not been a bad year, right? It's not been a bad year. It's been a bit of a shit year for the world, to be completely honest. But like for in an Eve sort of, if we're framing this Eve, Eve uh, like a, with an Eve sort of frame, um, it's not been that bad, actually. It's actually been pretty decent. You know, there's a lot to sort of be positive about, to be completely honest. You know, we didn't have a fucking terrible fan fest. It was actually pretty decent. You know, we've had a whole faction war kind of update, which has been fantastic. You know, we've had a release of an of an, F of an FPS, um, even wow. if it's in early mm. stages, that is actually looking playable and enjoyable, even if it's fairly basic at the moment. But the solid, but the the foundations are fantastic. You know, there's there's a lot to be hopeful for. You know, yeah, there's still going to be somebody pissing in people's Cheerios, you know, namely uh, Hilmar with his <laughs> fucking, you know, crypto bullshit. But like, you know, that's life. But you know, as far as as far as I'm concerned, it's been fairly fairly hopeful, fairly you know, decent year, at least for you. Right. Right. All right. Out of me, soft. Go on. Uh, don't don't uh, just go right. I know your head's more in Tarkov right now than yeah. anything else. In actual fact, I think you're probably playing it right now. I am. <laughs> See, I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> 
<laughs> like you're clearly not you you're you're not like anywhere near as talkative as you normally are, and that's because you're doing something. What's he doing? Oh, no. What's oh, she no. doing in there? Is that like that makes me want to say, Ma, the meatloaf. Sorry, do you guys know that <laughs> reference? I don't Everybody know knows it. Oh that's my god, have you? Have you never watched? I don't think. Hold on, hold on. Have you never watched the movie Wedding Crashers? I actually haven't. No, I have the. I oh my. Okay, okay. Anybody in the audience? Which I can't imagine. There's anybody other than McLeod. Maybe Sothersil, because you know he hates real movies um, and everything else. <laughs> um, so I mean, seriously, if you guys haven't watched the movie Wedding Crashers, you gotta watch it. It's awesome. <sighs> it's awesome. Uh, I'm, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you any more than Ma the meatloaf and what is she doing back there? I don't know what she's doing. That's great. Lucky to me. All sorts of things. No, no, no. It's talking about Ma making the meatloaf. <laughs> Trust me. Um, all right, it, all right. It's 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 it, it it's just it is one of the funniest movies around. I think. I mean, if it's a, if it if it's if it's anything as funny as like beer fest, then I'll enjoy it. Oh, it's funnier than Beer Fest. Oh shit! And I love I love Beer Fest, right? And, and so do my boys. My boys love Beer Fest. It's just that's hilarious. <laughs> it, it's it's really hard to get funnier than Beer Fest, but it is. I love when the cousin comes or whatever. It is. It's hilarious. I love that movie. All right. So I'm I'm actually trying to get. Um, so there is a uh, there's a there's an American series that I've heard is is fucking hilarious as well, and it's got a, okay. a a an actor that I've seen recently ish and recent like actually yeah. very recently in that kind of sense. Um, if you've watched Reacher, never. Uh, yeah. So Reacher's a, a watched yeah. Reacher. I haven't there's, got around to it yet. There's two to be seasons fair. of it. Well, the second season's on at the moment, right? Like on yeah. So that's on on Prime Video, right? So if you have a Prime, if you have a Prime membership, and like honestly, if you haven't got a Prime membership, like just by taking advantage of the fucking free delivery over the Christmas period, like what's wrong with you? But um, but if you got a Prime also, membership, if Eric doesn't have Prime, then um, <laughs> something <laughs> weird. There's something, something weirdly something... wrong. Weirdly but yeah, it's on Prime, so it's on Prime Video. There's the season one and season two. Season one's an absolute riot, but it's got this guy called uh, this actor called Alan Rich uh, Richardson. He plays a uh, like a football jock in an American series. I don't know if I can remember the name of the fucking series. Um. Fuck. Okay then, MacLeod. Just... That was the worst sales pitch I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. It's not a fucking sales pitch, you <laughs> dumb cunts. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. We have no idea what you're trying to say. <laughs> the, um... That's but it's fun. just, it's a fucking hilarious series, and I, I, I've, like, been meaning to watch it. But it's literally, if you, if you've ever watched, if you've ever watched Reacher and, like, um, the way he plays Jack Reacher, it's like polar opposites as a you know as a sort of um, character to Jack Reacher. It's absolutely ludicrous. I'm trying to find his fucking uh, his uh, IMDb, but it doesn't even want to be coming up for some reason. Blue Mountain State. Oh my it's god. Yes, yes. Um get it now. I yeah, who is, is he, plays, he plays a guy called Thad Castle in Blue Mountain State. And if you've ever it. like if you've if you've ever watched that and you've watched Reacher, those two like those those two characters are like poles apart. Oh my god. Oh my it's god! I think, I think I think an important thing to mention about uh, Richardson uh, is yeah. that 
He is still a better fucking Aquaman than Momoa. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna. Oh, okay, he so Aquaman, did he? He so did we've, a small role, and he actually did a very good job at it. Oh, right. okay. We are, uh, yeah. So we we've talked about Wedding Crashers, and and you've brought Blue Mountain State into the thing. Have any of you watched Blue Mountain State? I've watched clips of Blue Mountain State. Oh my god, it is hilarious. And, I mean, and, 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 and the clips that I've seen are fucking hilarious as well. So. Oh my god! All, it, it's just it's oh my god! It, it's just so terrible. And it, it, oh, I mean, it's yeah, like watching it, it, South it's, Park. It's, You're like, I'm laughing at this, and I think it's funny, and I'm going to hell because of it. Mm-hmm. This is like one of those check boxes. You go up to the pearly gates. Okay, you watched uh, Blue Mountain State, and you so enjoy it's like, it. It's like, it's like you one mark against you. Yeah. It's like it's it's like you can't lie, and they'll they'll go. Yeah, uh, yeah. So did you yeah. laugh when watching Blue Mountain State? And yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I did. It's like, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't, you can't. But win. then you go down and like, oh, nice to random dogs. Okay, maybe we'll let the Blue Mountain State slide because you're nice to random dogs. Kind of children. Okay, up oh, South Park. Now fuck it, you're going down. Okay, I mean that's just. <laughs> I, I, I could have got past, you know. I could have got past laughing at Blue Mountain State, but you recommended Blue Mountain State too. So. I, 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 I did because it's <laughs> it's hilarious, right? And yeah, yeah. And, and my wife just mentioned that about the actor, right? Um, and uh, and stuff like that. And she goes, you know, that's the Blue Mountain State guy. I'm like, oh my god, it's that. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. And 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 when you when you know that he's been in stuff like that, you you really sit there and think, why has he not been cast for the boys yet? I mean, he'd, uh, he'd, I hate the boys. <laughs> he would be amazing in the boys. Like they've already had everyone else, right? So, so why not Alan? It's like it, he he was born to be on that show. He he would. Well, let's put it this way: um, that show would have to actually be good to get him to come <laughs> on. All right, I, I've I've looked at it and I've gone. I don't know. That, that, it that, it, that, it, it started out with potential, but then it fucking nosedived. It was terrible. It's uh, amazing. Yeah. It's the only it's the only thing around for comic book fans right now, because everything else is shit. They, they they try well, to do that. If if that is if that show isn't shit, it is like a fucking gnat's eyelash just above shit. Okay, that's how bad it is. Sorry. <laughs> it's it's terrible. By the way, I tried to I tried to figure out how to show this picture, but I but I can't. That we you know, upload um, it to Discord and then screen share it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, I'll do that. But um, the I mean, that uh, was how we did the that was how we did the you know gravity yeah, defying I'm like, sugar the uh, other week. Well, here's 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 what's interesting. Um, I. Uh, you know, display it in Microsoft's, you know, photo editor on my screen, but um, OBS will not let me pick that application to display. It's because it it looks at applications and decides whether it's worthy or not, and it's Microsoft's photo editor, so no, it's not worthy. It is not. Well, it'll let me display, like, Teams and Outlook and every That's other fine, fucking yeah. thing. But, uh, yeah, so... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll show you guys, and then I'll sh- I'll get get it for the rest of the audience, right? It's all right, we'll wait. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait. I'm already checking. There, you guys, you guys can see that's the one position, and about a half an inch higher and a half an inch lower that it will charge. So, I mean, I would we're not we're not doubting what you're saying, by the way. Just so you know. By the way, I, I just want to share it with the audience so they get an accurate, you know, review of the uh, of product. Out of, out of a rating of ten, what would you rate it? Um, you know, I just have to remember where to where to do it, right? What you, what, what somebody should do is they should rate it based on the percentage of the uh, the mat that is chargeable. And if they actually put some fucking effort in, they would have got a hundred percent, but they didn't because they only made like a tiny little area chargeable. So that's why they're getting three and a half percent. 
three and a half percent out of ten. Yes, yes. I'm specifically mixing it up just to annoy you. No, no, I'm I'm down with this <laughs> this level of measurement. Um, I'm giving it four. I'm, I'm giving it two and a half stars out of a hundred. All right, and then I'm, gonna do I'm a little giving it the alt cropping. three bananas out of uh, thirteen. Three bananas three out of thirteen. Toyotas. <laughs> slightly driven. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cut to the uh, the location here. Okay, our slightly I, driven giving... Toyotas. Like Look at this because to... because McLeod is amazing. Right, we can do shit like this. Um, oh, this basically entirely. No, no, there, there, there is like a half an inch higher, a half an inch lower, and it'll charge right there. That's the only place on that whole mat. Right, so um, that's weird, but also, I guess, kind of fine. Like, at least it's not right up in one of the corners where, like, yeah. if you were just resting your hand with your mouse, you could just automatically, like, kind of go to, oh, yeah, the center of the mat. We'll rest it on the center of the mat. But, but like, it's not if the it was center. That in the corner, that'd be a bit weird. It's roughly the center. It's close enough. I will say though, like while while Max use of different measurements, uh, and by the way, I will give that five out of seven days on uh, <laughs> <laughs> on a rating. Well, that didn't trigger me. The amount of unread <laughs> notifications Eric has in his Discord <laughs> is actually just pretty fucking awful. You like that? You like that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I know. Can, can Soft maybe explain what the difference is between a slightly driven Toyota and a slightly driven Mercedes? The Toyota will yeah. still work. Because exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm stuck on yeah. which one is the bigger number. Well, the, the Toyota is the bigger the number. Yeah, the Toyota is going to be the bigger number, but it's also going to be one that lasts the longest as well. In it's bigger history. and it lasts longer. Of course, Mac would make that joke. <laughs> hey, you know. So there we are. All right. So, so, so <laughs> what we can conclude is that Japanese last longer than Germans. Ooh. That's good to know. That's good to know. That's like fighting <laughs> words and shit. So, should right. we actually it's talk about some of this stuff? Sort of... <laughs> 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 no, no, this is not how it works, Dirk. You know this. Yeah, I'm just we trying to slide topics. past we that one. Up topics. <laughs> we learn out topics before the show, and then we don't talk about them whatsoever. Well, I was just trying to slide past that last comment from Caleb. That was all. <laughs> uh, that's probably a good Jesus. point, to be fair. Um, I mean, we could talk about Reddit. And you, oh, you, wow. you end up, <laughs> you end up the top uh, our Eve posts of the year for us earlier, didn't you? Yeah, well, I just you know, which a, which uh, nice, which there's a nice, there's a nice which would we like, like to go to? to what would um, we? Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to uh, Discord. Um, I think we should talk about the uh, the goon that was spotted on. Um, <laughs> Somewhere's local news. That was hilarious. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we? We don't have a link for that. Um, it, well, it, it, if you go to Reddit, if you go to, if you scroll up above a Rendis sharing the pictures of his Lego build, right, right, right. Um, which, which one I, is? I would it? say is is more awesome, accurately a Rendis is assistant to Lego yeah. build. Yeah. Which I we still think that it looks like it, it's actually the cat building the Lego. Well. We will talk about it, except he's not here, so we shouldn't talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah. so, put in no effort. It was all his assistant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So which which link uh, do we want to go to? But it's you just above go to... that, where it says uh, "Eve Reddit top posts of the year." Oh, okay. Yeah. That one. And then it's the second post on that page. It's it's yeah. very obvious. <laughs> You'd be like. You just wait for Eric to sort of like, oh. Eric will get there. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. We're there. We're there. Hold on. Let me. Uh... Studio mode. Boom. Media screen. 
Hold on, I gotta make sure I undo. Um, we don't want to get into the politics of the real life picture, but the politics yeah. of gaming. I just right. like the fact that you okay. put it as a wall, as a wallpaper. <laughs> All right, we're gonna transition over. Here we go. All right, goon spotted on the local news. That is awesome. <laughs> That is fucking awesome. Right? I mean, the fact that they managed to catch... Well, the fact that they were allowed to catch anybody's actual laptop screen is... Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's that's actually that's, a questionable decision, that's right? Like brought with dangers right there. <laughs> oh, my but, God. But you there it is right there. You never know what they've labeled stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, you never know what they've labeled stuff. You never know what they could be watching. That's also very true. True. Uh, true. But in this case, no, it's just a nerd with a fat B. Um, by, the, by the way, by the way, what, what, what class are they in? Well, they got like, like fucking have 12 students. Um, hmm. Good question. A poorly funded uh, one. I mean, you would think if Jill Biden was there, like every one of those fucking rows would be filled, right? But no. I don't think it was actually a picture yeah. from that. No, it isn't because that's that, that, that's not <laughs> Joe Biden. I don't think, but yeah, funny. That is funny. That's awesome. I'm trying to figure it out. It looks from what's on the the screen. It looks almost like it's a. Uh... No one no, knows. actually. That's that's too blurry. Like. Something is designed to allow us something I can kind of get, but then it gets really blurry down at the down towards the bottom of whatever's on that whiteboard or projector <laughs> screen or whatever the fuck it is. So I can't tell you what what sort yeah. of class it is, but it's a sort of empty one. You're right. Yeah, it is kind of empty. Um. But yeah, there's some there's some notable kind of. Uh, uh stories and things that happened that's made the uh, the top of uh, we'll give Reddit we'll give twitch chat the uh the list of um the list of top reddit stories this year um oh do we want to do we want to do the rest of them i mean we i'm just kind of scrolling through to see what jumps out and see if there's okay. anything see, kind um, of if, if if we're talking reddit um that always reminds me of how many upvotes we get on Anger Games announcements. Which is basically none. Yeah. It, it's basically <laughs> no one, everyone reads them, right? No Nobody one upvotes up. them. And then people complain about, oh, like, there's, there's no people never making saw them. content in EVE. Well, maybe that's why, right? If you like the content, like, press the like button. Yeah. If, you, if you enjoy it or appreciate it, it's not, it's not a case of, you know, this the upvote button isn't like you know. Oh, I'll only upvote it if it makes me laugh. No, if you if you if you, if you appreciate the content that's that's you know been put there, it, it, it's not voting. like we like put it's... hours into these announcements to make them what? just right. Wait, what? It's not times. I think uh, yeah, it's not think... like that. No, it's I, I like not like that. I like this one. We are definitely complaining about Reddit. See, see, Soth, you're saying you're saying these words, and I'm going. It normally feels exactly like that. This is this is the one I like. (laughs) This is the one I like, guys. I like this one. The uh, types of space. Yeah, yeah, the four types of space. Um, By the way, the, yeah, the this... picture for Nullsec is like, I think that movie's major pain. That's hilarious, too. I, the, the wormhole thing is scarily accurate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, right, look, Wolf, we've got Eric not picking up his Discord notifications. Eric now using <laughs> light mode. I, I don't know what's wrong yeah. with Eric, but he upgraded to Windows 11 this week, and apparently it's infected his brain. I love light mode. <laughs> What, why do you? Um, why do you? Don't what? Sound clip that. Do not sound clip that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to financially recover from this. Um, I, I don't know. So, I don't know. De- oh wow! Wow! I've just found something scrolled down, kind of like 
a yeah. dozen, about half a dozen posts from where you were, okay. which is a Lego Rifter that looks fucking awesome. Oh, let me, oh, yeah, let me no, find that, it, that and then Lego, I'll bring like, it up. I, I don't know what skin that Lego Rifter's got, but like, I want oh. the game. I'm going to do the Lego Rifter and then the one right above it. Let's let's transition That's to badass. that. Do you, do, you, do you want me to... Because that is a cool-looking... It's a cool-looking thing. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That is pretty, pretty, Repair pretty amazing. Repair really work really well with Lego. Like... Yeah, there we go. And if you move to the next picture, there's on, an official go, Lego on. Wally for scale. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I, I like this one. I like this one here. The Elon Musk one. Okay. That's a good one. Oh. Like <laughs> yeah, that was, that was great too. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go below, right? You want to be... Okay, so this right here. Happy owner of one of those old servers we played on. Is that is that it? Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, the server blades from the charity auction this year. Oh. Um, you know how CCP basically decommissions the old Tranquility nodes? They take out yeah. the server blades and they make some of them into these collector's edition items that are signed by a huge chunk of the CCP crew that's at CCP at the time. Mm -hmm. And then they auction them off at, like, FanFest, or um, there was a Vegas they did a, an auction for, and, like, these raise money for the... I think it's the local children's hospital they auction them off yeah. for, generally, uh, it, over there in Reykjavik. That, so, you know... It's a cool idea, right? You know, um, abuse yeah. these nerds with money for... You know why this I don't like blade servers? Me, this reminds me of something that wasn't good this year um, with Eve. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And that's the fact that Sissy is now uh, in in VIP mode indefinitely. So yeah. Only if you are invited to take part in Sissy, you can actually log in there. Yeah, this... That was a controversial change. Like, for all CCP have done a lot of good this year, you know, they've done two good expansions. FanFest was actually surprisingly hopeful. It They've delivered, you know, Vanguard, at least to, you know, playable-ish format. That's not a bad game. Yeah, they have they have made some is missteps. It, is it, is it now? And is the it closing of CC is a big one of them. Is it now, is CC now a purely meant to be, or supposedly meant to be a promotional slash marketing it's a tool. it's a qa server at this point rather than a test server because um okay like there was a there was a level of log in there to test right so it's not a yeah, test yeah. server no. it's it, it it's opened periodically when ccp have something that they want the community yeah. to kind of pile in on yeah, and then they close I, it again what i think what i think or is there's bullshit. a couple of other ways to get access at various times but yeah. yeah, what I think is even more bullshit is that um, they selectively give access to like streamers and shit, right? Um, Why for is a... CCP putting streamers? So there's above there's a their, their paying player base. So there's a level of like let, let's talk about the level of accuracy there, Soth. Um, what happens as part of the Eve Partner Program, which there are a number of streamers there as well but also we here at inn are part of the um partner program they allow before this year since they've closed cc before some major patches they've allowed a short period of time like three or four days like the weekend before basically for access yeah. for those partners for them to make content and videos or um write articles to be dropped once the patch goes live, it's like, um, it's basically the equivalent of journalists getting a little bit of early access under embargo as well. Like the, the content can't go out. You, you're not supposed to tell anybody about whatever is going on in the patch until after the patch goes live. But that's what it is. It's basically like giving journalists a peek behind the scenes so that they can be ready for launch rather than it being that the partners having free reign or streamers having free reign on CC, right? Like, that's not how that works. So there is a lot of complaints in the partners program uh, membership, or I say a lot. There are some comments in the partnership program uh, Discord where these same things that you're talking about, right? The fact that players can't test things on CC anymore, that's still the same. That it, It's just 
sometimes the, the partners get a little bit of access to see some cool new stuff and make some videos on it before it goes live. So, you know, perk of the program kind of deal. And it's nothing extensive. This is all to say that I don't disagree with you. It's It sucks that CC is closed. It sucks for the tournament scene. Uh, you know, we, we've had lots of conversation in the tournament scene this year, and uh, if you've been watching this show for any length of time, you will know Soth and I can talk about tournaments forever and a day. But, <laughs> you know, teams, historically, you know, the, the AT would be announced, and before we had Thunderdome, teams would practice on Singularity because, you know, the... There's a level of cost that comes to tournaments running running on tranquility, and oh, yeah. Jesus. the the level of cost and the burden of cost, the the kind of cost limitation factor for smaller mm -hmm. teams or smaller alliances to not be able to practice on tranquility. If you had to practice on tranquility, my God, the amount of money you'd be throwing away in ships and modules each week is enormous. Pretty ludicrous, yeah. So you do it on CC where you can generate cash from nowhere by destroying a dread and building your ships, buying them from the market. And teams would do this before Thunderdome was opened as well, because Thunderdome is also a limited access server. CCP don't turn on Thunderdome access too much, and Soth and I have been negotiating with CCP recently about when we're going to get Thunderdome access for Angry Games 6, which will be announced tomorrow uh, at some point. So yeah, and, and, and it's <laughs> you know you couldn't in you couldn't in, announce it today tournaments right it's a, it's a massively limiting factor because you're there going well teams just don't have somewhere to practice if you're planning to do an yeah. event until CCP turn it on it's like we, we, we very frustrating dropped, we could have dropped our rules probably a month ago um but we didn't want to because we knew that no one could could actually practice for these rules and that that's it's just shit right it, it, um, it's a bad feeling to for sure to basically say here are, here is the thing you can go theory crafting but you won't be able to test anything for like a month so yeah it's, but it's a bit it's a bit much sort of having a whole bunch of ideas hanging and you can't actually test them at all but also this, uh, this applies to ev the everyday player, right? The, the new player who's first getting his dread. He wants mm -hmm. to go and figure out how to do the um, crab. Right, now it's is it risk your dreadnought that you've probably just paid 8 billion isk for, thanks CCP. And potentially risk losing it on the first beacon because you don't know what you're doing with your dreadnought. You've forgotten your strontium. You can't siege. Bombers drop on you. You can't... You know, you, you're you panicking. You can't call for help. People don't have the ability to practice for these things. And one other thing that I really want to mention in terms of closing of CC was Project Enho. Now, I don't know how many people will remember what Project Enho was, but the details basically were that um, on one of the Keepstar fights that happened during... The war of 2022. I can't. Are we call? Are we still calling it Vietnam? Is that still the? Yeah, I think it's still Vietnam. Yeah. The agreed. The agreed name. Perfect. So during Vietnam, there was a fight on one of the. I think it was FWST key stars, and the the idea was that we would wait until uh, or Imperium members would wait until the main bunch, the main group of uh, attacking super capitals were on the grid. And then warp in Titans from multiple different angles in order to, uh, I think it was bosons, in order to use boson uh, DDs to provide damage from various different angles and provide additional ticks so that the bosons would go off simultaneously and theoretically destroy hundreds of capitals and super capitals in the same. Uh, well, it was it was mainly the same it was it was mainly super capitals that they were going for. They were going it, for a super carrier group. Yeah, it was mainly the super carriers, but you know, anything extra that you can get, you're not gonna turn down. No, you of course uh, not. But the only way that they could get this coordinated enough and figure out the right angles and the timing and get everything on point, the only way they could figure that out was to test it on singularity. This was 
cool. This was the first time it had ever been tried. And if it weren't for a bug in terms of application of damage under tie-dye, every single one of those supercarriers would have died. And so, you know, the bugs aside, without this testing platform, there's no none of that emergent gameplay. So I think it's a it's a huge shame. Sorry, Soft, I kind it, of it overtook that and ranted about it, but well, actually, no, but that's, that's something I think a lot of people don't realize is that, like, you know, this sort of, this this tactic wasn't just, you know, a Hail Mary kind of wing and a prayer sort of thing. It was practiced on, uh, you know, on a test server multiple times. You know, and it's, uh, that's an important kind of thing because, like, if it wasn't, then probably people wouldn't, you know, uh, then... You know, you probably wouldn't have had the confidence in being able to do it live. So, yeah, like not having that environment to to test various different things in, you've, whether it's not just testing uh, changes to the game, but testing tactics that you're considering to utilize in the game is, yeah, it's a, it is a bit of a shame. I mean, CCP are also saying, hey, um, when, when it comes to tournaments, um, that's what Thunderdome is for. But Thunderdome isn't up all of the time, right? Yeah. And that, that there's good reasons for it, right? I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. advocating for Thunderdome to be up 24-7. Um, it, it needs to be patched with the rule set that is going to be used in in the related tournament, right? Um. But you told they they told us that um we would get the necessary support right the the problem is just that the planning over had is so fucking long with with CCP right yeah so we these need to, timelines these timelines man them, like half a year before the actual tournament what what we're planning to do and. You need to like nail down your rule set in 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 that time frame. Um, sure, we can do that, but I doubt that any other tournament organizer can do that. I mean, there's a reason. There's it's kind of a small group of us at this point, and it's not just because there's a lack of people who are willing to get up and actually run something. It's it's also that there these overheads are. Yeah, not insignificant. You know, uh, we submitted our our planning email for the anger game stuff to let CCP know what the hell is kind of going on. What a month, more than a month ago. Uh, yeah, I think it's more than a month ago. And that's Maybe just like the it. official. That, that's just the official. Hey, CCP. We'd like to do this tournament, and we'd like your support for X, Y, Z that they ask people to do. So we submit that a month ahead of whenever we're actually going to announce the tournament. We start planning for that two, three months in advance of that. Mm. It's it, it's a long cycle. Yeah. Uh, not just because we're busy, but also because, like, yeah, you ask CCP, and then they go, okay, let me let me talk about it internally and then they go yes well maybe yes well no yes well maybe but i need to talk to this other person in like a week and it's uh, yeah i get yes. that they're a company and that people have lives but it's also a lot like hey we need to look at technical feasibility like fair but like my tournament kind of relies on these rules that i have to send to you this early right and now I need to wait like three, four weeks for a reply if my rule set is actually possible. Do they not? Do they not think like, oh, let's let's send them a bunch of rules that can be changed, and will be easy and won't be won't have issues of like whether it is technically feasible, you know, implementable well, or anything like. You know, there's so a certain then, amount then of. I get, then I get a list of rules that have been used in the AT and. We don't want to use uh, the rules that the AT uses because that's fucking boring. 
right? We, well, we yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that. Well like, that. well, that's the thing. It's a case of understanding, not understanding what has been done before, but what is what is actually technically feasible to do. Well, there's, right? there's ideas. That there are more things that are technically feasible to do. Then there's new has ideas been done that we've thrown at the... CCP. Yeah. And they've turned around and said, actually, this is probably fine. We just need to, like, figure out doing it. And so, like, that's fair. But, yeah. It, it, what Soth is more talking about here is the timeline of it. You know, if you're going to talk to CCP saying, and ask like, them for something, and then saying, they, like, they turn around and get back to you I'm just, and say, yeah, we need all, three months yeah. lead time to do this. All, all, all I'm trying to say, all I'm trying to say is basically, like, you know, instead of every single time that you have a tournament, you ask CCP what is technically feasible or, or, or send them a thing, say, this is what we'd like to do. Is this technically feasible? And then somebody has to, you know, somebody or, or a bunch of people have to go around and go, is this technically feasible? Run the numbers, do the kind of things, ask the, you know, ask the uh, the, the programs and stuff like that. And they kind of basically come back and go, uh, I think, yes, probably. And then they send it to you saying yes. And then, you know, after doing that, you know, take that piece of paper that they fucking that they've you know worked this all out on and sh like fucking set it alight and then forget mm -hmm. about <laughs> like and then and then forget about whether certain things were technically feasible or not. And then the next time somebody comes around and asks, you know, oh, we want to do a tournament. Is this technically feasible? They have to go and do the whole fucking lot again. What I'm saying is, they should like list this thing and put it in a doc. And then when oh. somebody says. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a tournament, you know, what, what, what kind of rule sets can I do for this? They can literally just point them at the dock and go anything on this dock. Yeah. And you know what they're going to do? They're just going to put everything they have used for tournaments in the past. There's they basically going to be anything like anything that would be possible. They will just list things that have been done before. It's, it's that bit where like, if they're looking to reduce their, their overhead on you know, developer time and what have you, they're basically going to yeah. go, here's here's what we've changed before, they can have some variant of these rules, and that's fine, rather than bringing yeah, in new ideas. Like I say, we've got well, a new idea that yeah. we're looking to deploy this year, and it's it's looking like it'll be good, but yeah, it took us like three weeks just to get a, a technical feasibility assessment result. So what I'm saying is the next time you go and ask, the, the, Mac, What I'm saying is the next time you go and do this, right, okay, what before you go any further, yeah. I was told that this was technically feasible, that this is a thing that is possible. And then mm -hmm. I wrote it into the rules, and then CCP Zealous went to the, the programmers, and they said, eh, maybe not this way, maybe we have to do it this other way. So we already went the route of, hey, let's use something that we know should work. Right. Well, I'm, I'm like if if somebody's done that, like if if somebody's gone through the process or, or gone incorrectly through the steps of the process, then that's not your fault. That's not mm. our fault. But I, I, I don't think you understand how this works. Like we can't tell. CCP well, I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be. It doesn't. There doesn't seem to be a. All of the possibilities, right? We can't tell them that. That that is. No, but I'm not. That I'm not work. saying you do that. Like I'm just saying right. that, like uh, uh, if okay. it's possible, put I'm it gonna, in a doc. If, uh, if I'm it still stop requires, if it still requires, <laughs> like if it still requires, like feasibility feasibility assessments, then fair enough. If CCP are willing to do feasibility assessments to figure out if something new can be done in a tournament, fair enough. But any everything else that has been done or or, or is doable, put it in a doc so that you don't have to go through the feasibility assessments every single time because. Initially, when we came into this conversation, this particular topic, the gripe was about speed, about the length of time it took for them to figure out whether the rule sets that you wanted to do were doable. Yeah, but and I'm just saying, know... if you have, if you've, if you've done it before, put it in a doc, yeah, and but then it's faster. This is the place. thing. There's, there's, there's no way for them to. It, it's not something they've done before. It was a new idea. And so we were told, hey, like, it's fine. And then they went off. Then we said, right, yeah, great, cool. Put it in the rules. And then, then we got to the, mm. the stage of actually getting the feasibility. So and, anyway. And, and I'm, it I'm... didn't take them three weeks because it was such a complicated thing. It took them three weeks because there, there was a bunch of other thing in between that uh, Zealous had to deal with, right? Um, because he's not just 
the guy for tournaments, right? Mm -hmm. He is a part of the community team, so he has to deal with Vanguard uh, being out. Yeah, in, I, in, I, in I, get that, right? I, I get that. I get that most devs are spending plates in various different, you know, yes. situations. But... Anyway, we, this all started from, uh, hey, it really fucking sucks that Singularity has been closed down to, into VIP mode and is only accessible, like, yeah. fucking two weeks out of a year. CCP, you should probably, like, improve the feels bad about that one. Um, and there's other things that you could improve or feels bad about. Um, other things that I want to kind of talk about a little bit in terms of big events this year. Um, mm -hmm. We've got to acknowledge that the Tranquility Trade Keepstar died in Highsec. The only ever Keepstar that will oh, ever yeah. have been in Highsec at this point, since CCP changed the rules about that. That's so true, yeah. um, that was a that was a big old kill mail. Mm -hmm. I think we were actually uh, we were on the live stream for that as well. Yep, we did uh, stream that live somewhere back in like July. I think yeah. that's when it happened. Yeah, I recall that because certain somebody like left their PC running to keep on streaming mm. it, and it fucking died or something happened. He fell asleep, and I and I had to no. Well, he didn't fall asleep. <laughs> he fucking disappeared. He went somewhere. Who was yeah. that? Yeah, he left it left it running, and then I had to basically force him off and like you know. I was our lovely friend uh, Mifune. Mifune, you always do give us a good laugh. Um, yeah, yeah, he basically frustrate uh, us, and frustrate us so at times. <laughs> he, he, he sort of kind of went to take a nap, I think, and then the, the stream <laughs> just like <laughs> and something happened. It was just a bit, a bit manic, but we 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 figured it out at the end, so it was good. Um, scrolling through, <laughs> scrolling through. Um, trying to remember what else. Has gone on this year. Um, I'm, su oh. I'm surprised. I'm surprised Arendus isn't here to gloat about the fact that he finished his. Uh, what did it? He'll Venet get to it. Or something? His Venator class uh, yeah. starship. Yes. Um, Arendus has spent the last like three days building one of the big Lego sets. Yeah, it's funny because like he, uh, th there's one thing where he says. He's at he's on six hundred and seventy seven steps in, and it looks like it's only just started. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't even want to know how many how many steps to completion that was. It must have been a fuckload. But yeah, it was one of the big ones, one of the the, the big sets, and apparently well, he, it has lights in it as well. So. He sent us a a picture of it midway through. And he hadn't even got most of the the kind of outer superstructure built, and that was yeah. six hundred seventy seven steps in. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, at that no, point, there was there was there was literally just, you know, the 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 inkling of a ship to some degree. Um, we should also say hi to Tam Tam, who uh, asked how we were all doing in Twitch chat. Yeah, we're doing okay, I think. Doing it good? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, trigger you guys by drinking cider. No, uh, there's nobody here to trigger because Dawn's not here. Oh, yeah, good point. Damn. <laughs> I'll drink my apple juice alone then. Cider. <laughs> cider. What else have you we got on our clear apple juice, notes so list apple juice. to talk about with you? <laughs> um, has anybody actually got around to watching the full six hour down the rabbit hole thing yet? I, I did oh, end God. up do, doing it at, at some particular, uh, at one point, yeah. It was, it was I good. did have a few goes at it. It was really good. It was very good. It, it, it was much more centric to the company rather than the goings-on in the game kind of thing. Obviously, you know, when when goings-on in the company did, you know, adversely affect the game, they, you know... They, well, it but it's, it, it's a gift to about the community, lot, but... right? Because now, whenever yeah. someone asks us, what is this game about? <laughs> we give them a six-hour documentary, 
and two history books. That's like, that's like perfect. It's like, you want to know what the game is about? The, Here it is. Six hours, video, there. and two big books of, of uh, history. No, no you, you start leading them in by saying, oh, um, do, do you just want the quick notes on it? Like, <laughs> do, you, do, do you like do you space? Do you like, do you like sci-fi? Yes, okay. Uh, now you just have to watch uh, all of this and read this. Now, now you're ready to start. Uh, I have two hardback books and a six-hour um, documentary, documentary for the for the, for the TDL TDL uh, TLDR version, if you want. Just to get yeah. you started. Just to get you started. <laughs> I, I do think I mean, it's kind hell. of fun that it took him what almost two and a half years to actually do that. He's been collecting. Uh, resources and contacts for more than two a years. A long time, yeah. That was nuts. It's, it's, it's because he, he made uh, two or three really popular deep dives and yeah. got a lot of fans, and then everyone has just keep poking him since. Do something about Eve, do something about Eve. And he kind of wanted to, but he didn't understand it enough to even get started, so he kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. But it's one of those things where, you know, he makes some decent stuff, but when he disappears off the map for like an extended period of time, people are there going like, he's working on something and it must be like something big. And then they, then, then, then here drops a six hour documentary and like, Jesus fucking Christ. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do, I do hope that uh, he goes back to making uh, some of those esoteric, weird things right because <laughs> he's really good at that like really fucking good at that i think he was the one that did the mouse utopia wasn't he he did the mouse utopia yeah mind-blowing i think that was one you linked me at one point yeah um i i i saw it mentioned multiple times in various different things that i uh so i ended up watching the Per cat cafe down the rabbit hole. That was just fucking weird. That was very strange. <laughs> Basically, it's about a cat cafe in fucking where is it like Seattle or something? I don't know somewhere somewhere. But yeah, it was, it was just owned by someone who was. Very, ex uh, very eccentric and very strange. I think he um, should actually uh, consider yeah. getting a job in the industry and and semi professionally do documentaries. I think there would be a market for something like this. It's it it, it feels a little a little bit like uh, our Britfag friend, right? Black Mirror. Yeah, he's I mean, got the, similar the vibes. Like, the amount of views that he has in his videos is insane. Like. The, that alone should just basically, you know, mark him. I would just mark, like mark to... him as being somebody who, somebody should put a lot of money into helping to, you know, reach wider audience. I would just really money. like to see what he could do if and he had like audience. Channel Four money and and production crew, right? Oh Christ, yeah, that'd be crazy. Because it's it's For, it's, uh... it's such quaint topics, and of course it it takes so long to do it when you're doing it like a solo thing right so mm. it's just almost impossible like what the eve online one kind of proved but if he had actual support and a production crew to do well, it, it would have cut down the whole amazing. it would have cut down the whole sort of like you know him disappearing off the map for like two years to come back and drop a six hour documentary right like exactly it would have it would have been a much shorter sort of you know uh or, you know, lead around time. So, like, yeah. Maybe he should uh, send an application to Netflix. <laughs> they do throw well, they money never, at things they, like they, this, they, right? Well, they never deny anybody's like you know um, ideas. So, like, it's not like he's well, going to get said no, is he? What they are, he he's got a proven track record for his type of content. So, I think he could actually. Uh, pitch for yeah netflix money and, and, and if people are people, people are a little bit maybe a little bit confused who we're talking about we're talking about frederick dudson the guy who did the six hour long eve documentary i, I will help you out here it's pronounced knusen 
but Knudsen? it's okay. Okay. Uh, Frederick Knudsen. <clears throat> Apologies Knudsen. on the pronunciation. I'm Good English. German. I think I think that's 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 probably the best way the best the best um best thing that I could say really is uh sorry about the pronunciation, I'm English. Yeah, you get uh Tanute from Knut that's, uh, <laughs> impressive. Hey, you know. <laughs> that's a that's a whole segment, right? How how the <laughs> British language fucks up pronunciation and how they import words from other languages and completely break them. Well, th Let's these are our the words of now. English. <laughs> are we doing this again, Caleb? Those are our words now. <laughs> They're not. You, you, you've bastardized them. You've completely killed them. No, no. We, we took no, other it, languages down a dark alleyway words, and no, came out with... We, we have appropriated to them. Yeah, according to their law, it would be illegal to get them back. I just yes. plant the flag in it, and then the, this is ours now. No, it's not. I'm, I'm <laughs> that's, sorry, that's, that's not exactly... how languages work. That's how imperialism worked. <laughs> that's exactly how that worked for a good number of years, actually. <laughs> um... Oh, fucking hell. Like, Reaver keeps making fun of me for actually pronouncing French Roman words the way that they are actually pronounced in French and, and Latin. And you guys but, just completely destroy them. <laughs> so, so is it a gyro sandwich or a gyro? Oh my God, let's not get the Americans in on this. That's just <laughs> yeah. not, not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just asking, English, which is it? Okay, the, the English language is a, is a pigeon bastardization of all the rest of the European languages and Americans just bastardized English. So, so it's bastard bastard. So if I don't you even know, know what it, that if, is. If That's you, like bastardization squared. So if you know yeah. how to speak English, you don't how you don't know how to speak any European language. <laughs> Gyroscopic well, sandwich. Yeah. All right, game over. <laughs> uh, by the way, that is that is one of my favorite uh, sandwiches more, more accurately more well, accurately uh yeah. eric that's a gyroscopic snadwich snadwich snadwich, snadwich. love a good yes. snadwich eh? yeah we <laughs> have a we have we have two places that you um if you if you're at work and you're and you're ordering for lunch you draw straws to see who has to go pick up the group's order, right? One of them, Mike and Tony's gyros. Because you gotta say gyro when you say Mike and Tony's. Um, Salonacos is better, but um, but Mike and Tony's gyros um, or uh, Rudy subs, because when you go into those establishments, you will come out permeated, like it soaked into your skin for the rest of the day. Like you have to get like three showers to get it out, right? You will smell like those places, but but their food is so yummy. Well, I've seen <laughs> American servings, and I can guarantee you, I cannot order for more than two people because I can't carry anymore. <laughs> oh no, no, no! These are these are normal, these are normal places. I mean, you know, it's a, a zero zero. It's not any bigger, any smaller it's in a pita man. But no, I mean. This where is is you form. come with me. Pizza you is, come with uh, me to our is about local... one and a half times the normal size of a European pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are making me hungry. It's all about making you hungry, Camp Camp. Well, I, I think there's doing. one positive thing because uh, an, an American sized pizza, right? That means that you only need one pizza oh. box if you're a homeless person to actually cover you oh. when you sleep. By the way, by the way, because because you said homeless people and yeah. pizza, I got to bring this up, right? So over uh, around what was it, Christmas Day? I'm, I'm concerned. One of our uh, one of our pizza shops in the area, uh, Pizza Parma, which is actually really good pizza. Uh, they have two locations. They were actually giving away large pizzas to anybody who came in between a certain hour to make sure you know everybody had food on Christmas Day. It was really nice of them, free of charge. So I'll give a shout out to them. Not that anybody on the show is there to do them, but just just know. Um, but the um, 
when you talk about sizes of pizza, we have many sizes of pizza here. You have your personal pizza, which is about really, it really, it's like a New York slice, but it's cut into four little slices. A New York slice um, is a, a size in its own, but you have small, you have medium, you have large, you have extra large, and you have gigantic. Okay. So, <laughs> so a large is generally a 16 inch, you know, high, you know, medium and small are slightly large. smaller. That's a large. Okay. Jeez. Extra large oh, is um, like, extra large, I think, is like 24, and Jaigunda is like 32 if you have a pizza shop. That's a, I'm, I'm here going, okay. I was I was quite impressed. There was, there was a place in Cambridge back, back when I was living there. It's a place locally that did a 24-inch yeah. pizza. And you're there going like, oh yeah, 24-inch. That's just yeah. like a, an extra large pizza. Yeah. How much fucking pizza do you need? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hold on, hold on. Have, have, have you, well, have you it, not huh? seen the videos from uh, Portnoy, the guy, uh, Barstool Sports? It, 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 Portnoy? It's very simple, oh, Doug, right? Look if, up Portnoy. He goes, around, he goes around all the cities and he rates their pizza. But, but seriously, Doug, if you or, or I ended up in America, right, and we were homeless, we could easily build a home. We would just order the I mean, biggest pizza, right? Put some, some some sticks in the corners, and that's a house. Then get their <laughs> biggest drink, and that's the bathtub. It's like a, done. A, a, a thirty-two <laughs> a, a thirty-two inch pizza in our pizza box. Yeah, that's like at, at the very least the yeah. top half of you covered once you open the box yeah. out. It's, yeah, and, and by the way, that's pizza sizes pizza sizes are not standard. Okay, my local place, like you know, a couple blocks up the way, a large is a sixteen-inch pie, right? But you go to another place, and you know their large is a is a fourteen-inch pie. You go to Domino's, and their large is probably a fourteen-inch. They're they're smaller, this, right? This is why, like the small, medium, large, extra large. Yeah, just, know, just, yeah. Not, yeah. Not, no, no, like just no. just use the measurements, as you say. Like you know, you yeah. always kind of say, how big is oh, your it's pie? A fourteen inch pie or a sixteen inch pie or whatever. Like absolutely, you know, put it like that, and then everybody knows what the fuck they're buying. And why well, do they usually... never cover this in in comic books? Right, I I have read a lot of comic books, and Spider Man is, is from 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 the New York area, right? New York pizzas have those large ones. He never <laughs> had to carry those. He always carried the equivalent of the smalls in like a stack, never the big ones. And I don't think people order the small ones in New York. <laughs> no, in New York, the small ones anywhere in America. In, in uh, New it's, York, it's, small, it's very it's too much. Small for them. Yeah, in New York, it's very much. You know, you walk out, you go to the pizza shop, you get a slice, right? You get, but you buy it by the slice in New York, and they're and they're just. I mean, some of the slices I've seen in New York were basically a medium pizza everywhere else. You know, they're huge. And then you put the stuff on them, you know? You got to put the stuff on them. I got to tell you, um, if you I, like I white pizza... Just, uh, take a moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> just, just real quick, before you carry on with the pizza talk, uh, we do have a first-time chatter from Cloriel in Twitch chat. Thank oh, you're welcome. Uh, welcome. Returning player from 2015 who is confused by Plex now. And Ooh. I don't blame them, because I, I remember when CCP made the change to Plex, and it was the, the most Honestly, just like, what the hell are you doing kind of change in the world. Um, one, nowadays, it is 500 one, plex. It, yeah, yeah. 500 plex is worth one old plex or a subscription for a month. And uh, if you're buying a month of plex in Jita right now, it's like 2.7 billion esque or something. It's it's dumb. Yeah, they decided to do a 500 rather than a 1,000 because, like, why? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Just because. Just because, 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 because then you couldn't yeah. call it like a microplex because you know that would just but that would make sense make sense except you couldn't <laughs> do a microplex iceland, if it's 500 because it's only 500 because iceland mm. really doesn't use metric <laughs> i mean just just be happy that uh they uh didn't make it 12 plex and then oh, invented a, another one that's <laughs> above that that's oh don't 20, don't so just shut Shut the no. fuck up, okay? Do not, do not give Hilmar any fucking ideas, okay? Just shut no, up. No, I was, I, I was just uh, describing how, uh, what, what was it? Pence and shillings work? Oh uh, yeah, hey. yes. yeah. The imperial system of uh, of measurements. 
Like, yeah, you've I'm, got... I'm, I'm glad most people don't use it because it's fucking abysmal. 12 inches at a foot, then 3 feet in a yard, and then 1,800 and something yards in a mile. Yeah, but how many hands are 36, that? isn't it? 1,836. I think yards that's about a mile? Right, yeah. 5,000 something yeah, feet, and, right? And, and, and how many leagues is that? Uh, 20... <laughs> <laughs> It's twenty thousand, no, no. and they go under the sea with an an- but, with an anchor around your ankles. <laughs> how many uh, how many knots yeah. can you run it at? You know, how many so, knots uh, can you run it? Twenty six centimeters in not, inches not making, is around about ten. Not 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 wanting to not two point five two point five centimeters six, per inch, right? Two point five six centimeters per inch. And Just round it down, man. Are in an inch. Yeah. Um, so, how many what? Sorry? How many barley corns are in an inch? Depends on the size of your barley corn. Oh, I mean, the standard barley corn. <laughs> yeah, I've got well, nothing on that. It's all derived from barley corns. You do realize this, right? <laughs> I, do, I do recall it as it all derives from barley corns, but like, I've never managed to identify how they managed to standardize the size of a barley corn. Like how many how many apples are in a bushel? Uh, I don't think you measure apples in in bushels. Yeah, you do. What you can? Okay, so you so, can so, measure apples so in bushels. Not 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 wanting not wanting to sort of throw down some math at you, but uh, one barley corn is a uh, five point two six zero nine four to the negative six miles. I think the fascinating <laughs> one is. <laughs> <laughs> I think that clear but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But what is that? In, what is that in delve time units? Okay, about twelve. Hey, that's, that's a valid <laughs> measurement. That is a fucking valid measurement. But I would like to know because in in, in Danish we have a uh, plane measurement for farmers, right? That's basically that named a a barrel of land, like a how, barrel how of land. Come? A barrel of land. That that's that's the actual name of the measurement. Oh, oh man. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and it's a the barrel plane. of land. Like, how do you go from a square foot to to plane? Hold it. it just doesn't make any sense. I found the most amazing chart. Hey, I'm just gonna tell <laughs> tell King out there that uh, it, it's twelve parsecs. Yeah, ser- seriously. Um, like so a, a, a barrel, barrel of land corn, sounds so about just... it's. It's the amount of dirt that you can fit in a square foot of land, and that's how many barrels of land look, you have. Look, it's, it's very, <laughs> it's very easy. I've given you a chart in Starphony as to how to figure this out. Okay, so there's three. Oh barley yeah, we have to, to get this up on on two, chat. Uh, six in, barley corns to a stick, right? There's two sticks <laughs> to a hand, so there's twelve barley corns to a hand. All right, like, <laughs> like. You you you've, you've got to you've got to throw this up, I mean, Eric. I I I'd like to congratulate no. whoever it was who fucking made this chart because Jesus Christ. Um, we're not, we're not, no. Hang on, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll blink it. In chat, no, like no, no. I mean, yeah, blink it in chat. yeah. If it's yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't even know it really, was such a. You know what? Nuts. You look. It, it's very important. This show is an educational show. I didn't even know there was such yeah, a thing as a cool stick things. and a barley corn in a hand. I mean, as a measurement tool. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, we learned something today. That's a hand. Come on. Yeah. I, I would like to point out that you what can do you also think you measure from... horses. <laughs> I'd like to point out that you go from yards to fathoms to shackles, and also <laughs> from fathoms to Gunter's chains. Mm. Oh yeah, Gunter's chains. Yeah. Well, Gunter's chain. Yeah. I just and think remember it, it, those yep. ten hands. Imagine being uh, working in administration stuff with this type of measurement things. Like, right? how do you even convert from one to the other? If you were to make a book that explained how to convert from one to the other, it would be like a brick uh, of of weird descriptions and examples of how to convert. No, it wouldn't. I mean, clearly the French were involved here, right? <laughs> <laughs> You can you only say that? say that. You can only say that if somebody surrendered. Okay? Did anybody surrender? No. 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 I mean, I mean, looking um, looking at this chart, French, clearly somebody the surrendered French their language. sanity. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Eric, the, the French language was actually designed to be overcomplicated in writing so that the peasants wouldn't learn to read and write. Oh, you know, like, I, remember, I heard that from somewhere. You know what? How did so, that work out for him? This, this, this memory system yeah. is clearly doing the same, right? It is overcomplicated. Can we go back so to food? People don't, don't understand it. Like this is this is for the tax man and nobody else. That's yeah. what yeah. this is for. Clearly, oh, this, oh this, clearly, this, micro, this this could also be referred to as a microcosm of the U.S. tax system. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Nothing's that bad. Holy shit! <laughs> I have you opened up the chart yet? Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't think yes. he's looked at it yet. <laughs> oh, I looked at it. I looked at it. That was way more simpler than. U.S. tax code. Way. Way more so. <laughs> My God. And yet, in, in British news this week, there was somebody celebrating the return of the pint of champagne here in the UK <laughs> because uh, it's not a metric unit. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah. And it comes with the best quote I've read in a while. And... I'm, I'm not going to like go through the entire article oh. because it gets into a lot of politics and what have you, right but back. there is this wonderful quote. If a camel is a horse built by committee, a litre is a pint designed by a commissar. What? <laughs> that, that was... sounds like something from GB News. <laughs> that, you know, it was Peter Hitchin, so... Yeah, no. I did. I my case. Trucks are legal in the UK now because <laughs> he has clearly been smoking something. Yeah, you just uh, just all reminded me. I have oh. to go put the. Uh, we should. Got, uh, we, we got. We got British politics on this channel. It's one this is this is our uh, our champagne for tomorrow. I got three of these bottles. They just came in the mail the other day, and I'm like. I don't remember what was in there. But this like, is there. I gotta go chill. Unlabeled bottles. No, no, no. They're not unlabeled. Let's see again. It's called okay, Crystal. Okay. Crystal. Hold it. There. No, I'm here going. Go. No, I, I can barely Crystal? see the labels. Uh, oh, that yeah, is actually a label rather than just yeah. markings okay. on a bottle. Oh yeah, they they right. print. Yeah, they oh, don't put go. anything. But yeah, um, yeah. I get um, I get wine from the uh, Wa Cellars in uh, in um, California. And uh, they they print on the bottle itself rather than paper, which is kind of cool. But uh, Crystal is, cool. is 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 the wife of the owner. It's a family winery, and so she has the uh, rosé champagne. So it's pretty fantastic. So I got a couple bottles for uh, the Brut Rosé. It's 2017. Wow, 2017. We'll see if it's any good. I, was about to well, I mean, it is good. We've had it before. It's probably fucked. But yeah. But I just went in there. I'm like, told. by the way, for a week, this is this is how bad we are in the holidays, right? For like a week, maybe a week and a half, like it got delivered. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, the FedEx girl brought it up. Um, we have the coolest FedEx girls here in our delivery area. They're super cool. She uh, she brought it up and she says, "I need a signature, got a wine delivery, right?" And I'm like, "Did you drink any of it?" And she goes, "I wish," <laughs> and uh, and it. She set it down on the ground flat um, and uh, you know, I was going to go down to pick it up and she even just like picked it up for me. So nice. FedEx girls in our area. They're awesome. Awesome. So nice. Um, we have two, we have two um, and they're, and they're really nice and they lug some heavy crap around for little teeny tiny girls. It's pretty amazing. So just shout out to the FedEx delivery drivers in our area. Yeah, awesome. Nice. But yeah, so we yeah. got it. But if you know, I mean, this this is this is one you can't buy in the in the stores. They're pretty nice. Um, but yeah, that just They're reminded cool. me. We're talking about this. I'm like, damn it. Uh, and by the way, we're so lazy in the holidays, right? There's a there's a cardboard box that is sitting right to the right of my front door, right in our in our entryway. And like, I went over there and I actually opened the box, right? Oh damn. Uh, I, we haven't even opened it yet. It, it's so <laughs> bad. We get so many deliveries this time of year. That it's kind of crazy, but yeah, it, it, they they do they do really fantastic with their how they label the actual bottle itself. 
I just picked so, up a bottle of uh, 2017 Lonson Black for my, my, my years. Yeah. Like, Sorry, oh. I was dealing. I was dealing with stuff offline. Sorry. But by the way, the they assistant only decided to put a, the, the assistant decided to put a piece of Lego in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so in order to make the uh, rosé sparkling wine, we can't say champagne here in the United States, right? Um, it is. Uh, it is 70% uh, Pinot Noir and 30% Chardonnay. Hmm. And they only make 300 cases of it a year. No, oh, well. That's pretty. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're kind of a little boutique nice. little place. Their, their Pinot Noir is really good. And so is their Chardonnay. It is the smoothest Chardonnay I've ever had in my life. So that's the mm-hmm. wine segment here, the alcohol time here on uh, Bush Talk. And now we have... Uh, the, the, the amazing Lego time. Lego time. time. You know Lego what? We time. need. Yeah. Let's talk Legos. <laughs> uh, I know. I think Orendus is sick of Legos. <laughs> <laughs> I still I still have to do the lighting kit. Oh, you, oh, you haven't have done the lighting that. Kit. The, the, surely, instructions, surely the... the instructions the instructions for the lighting kit assume that the whole thing is built first, and I just did not have the <laughs> mental bandwidth to go through collating seven different pdfs together so Ooh. okay no, no that's, isn't, that's is, is it just that's me fair. or isn't legos getting so complicated that it would almost be easier to buy a kit car um <laughs> only for, only pieces. for the really good sets i i i have to say one thing before you start down this because i just read something tam tam put in there tam tam uh-huh. just remember no toasting with water that's bad luck right. so so don't be doing that. We don't want you to have bad. That's very true. Uh, All right. Go ahead. Miranda. Sorry. About what? Whatever about you're going on about. Yeah, Legos. We've been waiting all day to talk about your Legos. I mean, literally, <laughs> all day. Okay. Somebody have the link to the image album in the in the chat? It is It is somewhere. It, it's, yeah, we'll, we'll stick it's it in. Just it a bit. little bit. Okay. We can throw it up so, on, the, on the screen. So... Also a couple of months ago, I decided I was going to spend too much money on myself for Christmas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's no such thing. No such thing. Okay. And so I bought that, the Ultimate Collector Series uh, Venator Class Star Destroyer <laughs> from Lego. I, I would like to say, oh just, just before you quickly go, it is 18 plus. Is there some like adult content in it or something or what? Not just damage. No. Um, <laughs> Just that, like, they can't justify inflicting that much pain on the fingertips of miners. Okay. <laughs> oh and my I, God. I, I, I would like to make a, a slight <sighs> correction, uh, Arendis, because it's yeah. it that that's the assault cruiser version of the Venator before it became a Star Destroyer. <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna point you to the actual plaque on the thing. <laughs> Does the plaque <laughs> call it a, a fucking Star Destroyer? Destroyer? Yes. Well, it's why have Destroyer. they given you it in Republic colors? <laughs> because they were Star Destroyers. The Venator was the first Star Destroyer. The Acclimator before that was just an assault ship. The Venator was the first Star Destroyer. Uh. Anyway, um, so, yeah, that... That was three days. Um, <laughs> most of which I was, uh, let's say, assisted, which is why I labeled labeled her as assistant, by the attentions of my cat, who really likes laying on plastic and <laughs> really likes playing with fiddly bits and occasionally tries to eat them. So it was and, and knock them off the table, maybe. No, no. Well, she huh? knocked a couple of the bags off the table, but only, only the later bags, like in the mid forties. Okay. <laughs> this, this thing had forty-eight <laughs> bags of parts. Well, you 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 mentioned like uh, uh, you, you had a a, a, a pitcher, and you're yes. like six hundred and something steps in. Yes. I was just like Jesus Christ, and we're just yeah, and you were yeah, there no, at it, that point. It's, it's nuts. It, it's absolutely nuts. Um, 
Six seventy-seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the... How many? How many was the? How? How? What was the final count? For instructions. Yeah. Um, like hang steps on a wise. second. Hang on a second. Let me look at what the last step in book four was. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Four fucking booklets of this shit. Um, the last <laughs> step is step number 1,543. And then I built the extended display stand. Because, like, the actual the actual stand for the set itself is just the centerpiece with the plaque, the 20th anniversary mini plaque and two minifigs wolfie laren and rex and the rest of that i ordered a fuck i ordered a half dozen parts from lego and built that out for the rest of the minifigs <laughs> <coughs> Custom because ordered having, done this, a few having gotten this thing in october i had time to plan out exactly what i was gonna <laughs> do for the display and so i i decided hey you know i could i could get these other minifigs and put things together and um yeah, there's more coming right yeah. like you you were gonna do like uh was... the problem is the problem is that uh i don't know how obvious it is but the 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 coffee table i was decided to display it on which is where i'd planned to display it um the venator is actually an inch or two longer <laughs> <laughs> so i don't really have the room to put like the marauder and the bad batch and obi-wan star uh, fighter, I, I was I was gonna have all of this stuff set up, and eventually I will once I get a bigger coffee table. <laughs> shelving, I think. Uh, uh, like I, I I have been joking I have been joking with a couple of friends about how like you know if I if I win the Powerball I'm building an entire wing just for Lego, and I've I've realized that's probably not a joke. Uh, you can build it out of Lego. I, I mean, see it this way. Um, at least you have it, because <sighs> um, someone was three D printing a Macario for me, and um, you, you notice the absence of a Macario here, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I I'll believe, be honest. I, I believe you got waylaid by Smurfs. I'll be Isn't honest. That's just I've, custom I've Smurfs, actually, yes. I've actually considered buying another one of those. Um. Because you want two you Star Destroyers. You want another Benedict. Another if you look at how much the Imperial Star Destroyer is going for these days, if I spend another $700 on a Venator and just wait until it's not in production anymore, like the price is going to double. That's true. That's very true. <sighs> yeah. The only That's problem funny. is, if I do buy another one, uh, I will be tempted to build it. And I don't know where the hell I would put it. I just uh, <laughs> saw something that's upcoming that you need to buy, Rendis. Oh, no. The Avengers Tower is going to be available. It's not upcoming. It's it's, it's already out. Is it out now? Yes and no. <laughs> it's an you, amazing. You it's that. an amazing fucking piece. It's an amazing fucking piece. It's got all sorts of stuff in it. It's built. It's built to basically be one set that gives you the ability to do any appearance that. Avengers Tower has had in the movies like not look like this stuff but like on one level it's got it comes with two Captain America minifigs so you can do the cap versus cap fight it's got Hulk <laughs> falling down the stairs it's got, it's got but it Hulk. doesn't have two Hulks that's a problem it doesn't have two Hulks um, it, it comes with Loki it, 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 it comes with just a stupidly large amount of minifigs but no I'm not the one who needs to get that uh, my friend Yuri is because every year he gets another he gets another Lego set for his train set around the Christmas tree. Wow! He gets he gets another, basically he put, he adds another Lego mm. location to it. So I keep telling I've been telling him for months, and now I'm going to keep telling him as long as it's in production. This is what you need to get, but he's not going to listen. I think he's intimidated. <laughs> well, I, I think we can say that if if you get to the point where you've assembled <laughs> more than. 20,000 pieces in total. Oh. The next thing you should get is a kit car. Oh, <laughs> this thing, God. But the, the the design work on this Venator is beautiful. Um, like, the stand is actually built into the framework of the ship, so there's there's no worrying about um, whether it'll, like, whether it'll get knocked off, off or something. Like, it, yeah. it's it's rigidly attached you can't 
you can't remove it from the stand. Um, the everything, everything is pinned or clipped together um, onto onto the the central framework. It, it's like you just look so, at all this and you go, "God damn, no, how is this fucking?" Well, no, this actually works. And not wanting to tempt fate there around this, but is it? Are you saying technically it's assistant proof? Oh, it's much heavier than she is. She can't knock it down. <laughs> nice. Like, what if she lies on top of it though? She can't knock it down. Yeah, but she she can. Uh uh-uh. Rub her back against it. Nope. And push it slowly <laughs> to to the edge. Nope, right. She can't move it. Wow. All right then. Like the, the the weight, especially like she could she could maybe turn it if she were focusing on the front end of it, but it'd be really slow and she doesn't have that much patience but like the rear half of it if she were to take a running jump at it i don't think it'd move it, it's, it's, i think it's extremely brave easy. for you to sit there and say <laughs> these things well next morning you're, you're you're gonna wake up in 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 2024 so gonna, well, and there's just gonna be gonna all over the to floor. the sound of it hitting the, the floor and you can be like what's that the afternoon that- break image that box that she's in there with the the Christmas tree garland as her bedding, right? That sits in the corner behind it. It has had no problems for days now. She, and, she's... And, and seriously, you of all people should know, never tempt any murder machine ever. No, um, <laughs> honestly, like she wants nothing to do with this thing now. I think she's. I think she got bored of it. But after what you just said, I'm I'm sure she's like pondering, how can I actually make this happen? No, like it's like by the time by the time I was finishing up, she was just like, "Are we done yet? Pay attention to me. Stop, stop, (laughs) stop paying attention to it. Pay attention to me." Uh, I do like that the, the way you made the whole photo series that it looks exactly like she's the one actually building it. I did not do that intentionally, but okay. I don't know what you're talking about, Caleb. Evidently, the assistant built the entire thing. Arendus was just there to assist I was supervising. Them. Clearly, that she's the assistant. <laughs> the assistant does the work. I will say that uh, for oh. a worker, she takes a lot of breaks. I mean, it was three days. Oh. Oh. So, just like so I said, th- is... this is this is this has been an experience. I, I my fingers have not hurt this much since. I was an idiot and decided to learn to play guitar on a steel string guitar, not a nylon string guitar. <laughs> wow. That's a that's a mistake you only make once. Well, well apparently think, I've made think... it again. Like I'm gonna have I'm gonna have all <laughs> new calluses on my fingers and, and But with the steel <laughs> strings there's a higher risk of actual blood, right? Not really. It's just that they're less forgiving. Um, mm. So, so I, so I gather at no point in this build did you, did you go, shit? Where's that part? There were a couple of moments where <laughs> I actually uh, couldn't find something. Was and you're going, oh my god, am I going to find out that there's actually a part missing? But then it turned <laughs> out that like it was under the book or something, and just. But yeah, there were there it's... were those moments of existential panic <laughs> as this thing had taken over my dining room table, and I'm just staring at it like. No, the no, worst thing would be, be stopped here. No, yeah, then, no, <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of pieces with the unfinished thing, and you just like don't have the part. And you're like, oh fuck, I'm gonna have to right. wait. Right, how Although, long for like, it again? Like, so let me get this straight because because I've never actually done anything of this size. <laughs> we didn't have this shit in my oh, childhood. Neither, neither did I, man. These these bags, right? They they're like numbered and sorted based on the actual based building the process. Yes. As you go wow. through, the book tells you which bag to open when. I mean, um, this is crazy. I, I think the most complicated one I've built was the uh, the Formula One car from from Lego. Mm. That was super cool. Well, the, te- because, um, the Technics one. Yeah, yeah the Technics one. Oh, the one that, cool. That you can actually drive remotely. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, they're they're, but yeah, they're I've, doing I've such... actually um I've actually packed all my Lego stuff up uh ten years ago and um I gave it all away to uh to a company that uh gives it to charity. I'll be honest, I've been kicking myself because I gave uh the Lego Y Wing right from the Y Wing and Vader's TIE Fighter set. I gave that mm-hmm. to a friend of mine's kid. Um and now I'm looking at the stuff that I've got and going, Man, that'd be a perfect just perfect companion fleet piece for this stuff. And... <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't uh, we just start using this for admission to engineering school? Uh, <laughs> no, because the instructions are simple. Um, you know, like the instructions are very clear and straightforward. No, no, and, you you would of course not school, have the instructions. School, you'd, wanna, you'd wanna basically give them this is, a big bin of this parts is the... and say build something. Yeah. No, but the point would be to actually give them all the bags but take away the manual. But if if anything, this the this this is the introduction to the school of hard calluses. Uh, well, that, that's what I used to do as a kid. <laughs> I, I would build the thing once uh, by yeah. by the book. Oh yeah, every yeah, and then you and, and then you'd break it apart and then you'd, when you're you'd see what you could build with it. Yeah, create I, I yeah, obviously, but yeah. but that's just ludicrous. Like you're not taking that apart. <laughs> but I am. You are, oh oh yeah, of course you are because kit. you're putting the lion kit. Yeah, no, that's fair like, enough. So after four books of fucking Lego <laughs> instructions, there are three more PDFs just for the instructions for the lighting kit. They, uh, yeah, but you know, you you know that when that's done and you turn it on and you turn the lights off, like it's gonna look it's fucking gonna look amazing. amazing. It's gonna look absolutely that, that's amazing. that's the problem with my Macarial though. I want to put lighting on that too, and um, and you, you know, can't it's, because it's, you don't have a Macarial. First, that so um. <laughs> You know who you are. Like, get going. <laughs> Come on. I, yeah, I, I know that thing is finished. He's just not happy with uh, the paint job he did, so he keeps working on it. Well, I hope he keeps stripping it back down. Otherwise, it's going to be like misshapen and all like you know lumpy. What do you mean stripped down? It's it's two solid it's a... pieces. Yeah, but if he keeps if he keeps redoing the paint job, he lays on layers on layers. <laughs> yeah, that that's just, that's gonna get that's gonna get messy. That's gonna get. No, like, I I, I think he keeps sanding it down. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And, but I mean, yeah, you that, wouldn't, that's you wouldn't be want a lumpy cause, material because because I I can't really take it apart to add the lights. Right, I I need right. to work the lights into the the finished thing. Yeah, before it's glued together. I imagine it's going to be glued together. Well, it's it's two pieces, right? Yeah, so it will. If he's done it well, it will have some sort of le- uh, some sort of level of it will just lock together, and that will yes. like, that will work. I, but... I, I actually worked on the design with him. Um, that there's an interlocking thing. Um, so, so you just need to push the two pieces together, and, and that's it cool. Fits together, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually three pieces because, like, the the front is very intricate. So, um, that that's a different printing process. So the details actually are uh, come out the way they're supposed to. Well, that's cool. okay. Well, I mean, we best do like one last things because we've got negative one minute to do it in. Oh. There you go. <laughs> well, uh, how, how about um, uh, have a good slip tomorrow. Um, that that that's what we Germans say uh for New Year's Eve. Oh, you have a New Year's Eve, but you don't have a Christmas. Oh, Eve, yeah, don't have a Christmas Eve. Yeah, we don't have. I was about to say it's about a Happy we, New we Year's Eve because those. apparently you do it one day before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you joking? Well, I mean, we we call it Sylvester. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Who's Happy next? Sylvester, everybody. Happy Sylvester. It's like the cat that can't catch Tweety Bird, but okay. Dirk, are you going to be uh, indulging in 
um, your favorite alcoholic beverage over tomorrow? Uh, over tomorrow, um, maybe, maybe not. I might leave that one for New Year's Day um, because I have finagled the entirety of next week off, so I don't have to worry about, you know, not there drinking go. New Year's Day too. Um, mm-hmm. So I may have a, a, a Bloody Mary or two on New Year's Day um, around about lunchtime and, and kind of have the, the, the kind of brunch, you know, Bacon, egg, sausage, um, toast, that kind of thing. Not quite full English, but a, a proper cooked breakfast with yeah. a, a Bloody Mary then. But, you know, tomorrow I've got, um, like I said earlier, I've got a bottle of 2017 L'Anson Black uh, champagne Ooh, for actually enjoying. And um, I've got a couple of nice bits of, of gin in as well. So I won't be, I won't be struggling tomorrow. <laughs> or or maybe you will. Not sure. Depends quite how much of that is drunk. Yeah. I'm a UK type of struggle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. First world well, problems. All right. But that's but that's what hair of the dog's for at the end of the day. That's Ooh, right. Ooh, hair of the dog. All right, Caleb, what's up with you, brother? What tomorrow? Yeah, there's one last thing, right? You up, you up to anything? You're three tomorrow, minutes or? older. Well, I, 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 we have some, some, some specially uh, bought bottles for tomorrow's shenanigan, and uh, I don't know when we are going to start, but uh, I'll be uh, checking Discord to see when you guys are around. Probably yeah. from about like seven p.m. If I know us. Yeah, mm. probably earlier. Um, because <laughs> this is true. Playing Tarkov. I was yeah. gonna say, like, I just I have that strange feeling that as soon as this is done, so this is gonna be back in playing uh, Tarkov. I'm playing right now. There he hasn't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, how about you? Oh Christ! Oh well, I, I mean, I just wanted to say that, like. You know, there, there's a reason why we have, we are five minutes over on time, and it's because we're nice people. Because two hours gets you a mysterious Galnet crate as a drop. Oh yeah, that's right. And some of you may have been a little bit late, maybe five minutes late to the to the to the stream. But we're good guys like that, and we're going to keeping we keep we're keeping the stream on for just a little bit longer so you guys can get that drop. Yeah, I I get it. I get it. Hmm. 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 Did I? Where do I go to check and see if I got that drop? You should have. I should have. Yeah. You click. You click on your profile picture and you go to drops and reports. Oh, yeah, I, I can just rant for a second. That uh, I have a small ellipsis. I am so annoyed that Reacher didn't just come out in one big blob of all the episodes. So I have to wait until oh, yeah. the 15th yeah. of January before I can actually watch season two. He's teasing you like crazy. Really annoying. I hate that yeah. show. He did come, they, they did come out with like three episodes wow. in the first weekend. Though, so that was crazy. like a tease. Like, look, look, look. You, you can get three episodes to binge. Yeah, right. And then I have to wait. <laughs> yeah. On the, uh, on the topic of people who may have joined the show uh, a little bit after we got started... Um, Mm -hmm. We do still have the meta show coming up in a little less than an hour. If you you think we didn't cover enough of what went on in EVE over the last year, that would probably be fair enough. Um, (laughs) The meta show will be here with a much more curated roundup for you. (laughs) Yes. I'll throw you. Meta meta show is much more structured than we are. We are very much a chill and... You know, hey, have conversation show. Uh, it, it's structured data versus unstructured data. We're unstructured yeah. data this way. Hey, and by the way, for my one last thing, to build yeah. that. Yeah. What the, do you um, one last thing, Eric? Yeah, I'll do my one last thing. Tomorrow actually starts at like twelve thirty for us. We're going to go see Wonka. Oh. Uh, we're going to go see Wonka, and um, and then we're it's going to be fun. Uh, I think you, it's going to enjoy. Be it, I movie. think. I, I watched it last week, uh, as I mentioned yeah. last on the show, and it, it was great. So I think you'll have a great time. That's good. That's good here. I, I, everything I've seen on it looks phenomenal. And so then we're going to dinner, and then we've got some champagne, which I shared, and we'll probably drink that champagne again tomorrow. Tomorrow before 12, 
actually probably starting tonight. Um, we got to start cooking all the pork and sauerkraut, baby. And then, you know, that we do the dumplings cooked in the sauerkraut and all that good stuff. It's awesome. It's the worst, worst meal for your arteries, but we're going to eat it anyway because it's good luck. Spelt the for American T, right? American German meal. Kabasi, we got everything. That's that's worst spelled W H U R S T, right? Yeah, they're, they're, but we don't have any worsts actually. We just have kielbasa and we have uh, pork and pork ribs. And... I'm gonna make the mashed potatoes. I should make that tonight. There is no H in worst. All right, fuck you. <laughs> worst. You, know, you, got, you got you got the you got the impression like the impression was there, we, even we, though we it wasn't accurate. We we don't put H's at the start of a word just for them to be there and not be pronounced. Like right, we're not Danish. What this 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 wasn't directed at a Dane Hello? or a German. It was directed at America. Yeah. And that's me? where it landed. Wow. The aspiration is supposed to be pronounced. It's just a bit slash effort. At least yeah, we don't like. Do it. It. Uh, at least we don't suddenly change the order of letters like the fucking Brits. What have I started? Like, take, take a word that has an H in front, and then they just, oh, we can't pronounce that. We're just going to shift it, and then one order over. Like, fine, now it's now it's easy. What? Not yeah, but what, we, but we know, what? We know who to blame, right? And then they still have the posh people that then try to actually do it, where the H is second. But they put it in front. Like, why? That's not what the word says in English. It doesn't say what. That's what it used to say. It doesn't say that anymore. Anyway, nobody, so, nobody, no, nobody knows what Caleb's saying. Completely nobody smashed nobody. and 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 raped the fucking Germanic language. Does it? Because <laughs> it's it's from. Uh, Frisian, isn't it? It's what it's in Frisian. That's all. Everything's fucking Frisian when it comes to you. No it one knows. An aspiration <laughs> originally in front of. All right, hold on. W. I just learned something about my 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 earbuds. Oh. If I touch uh -huh. them, it starts playing my Spotify music. Not, not by Spotify the way, not forward. mine. But but I don't I don't do that stuff. I like turn it on with the computer. I'm not like you know I don't do that shit. But obviously it wasn't my music because the last person who played music on my Spotify account was my daughter, and so it was the Ava Max album. That's her. That's her new one. Thank God she's not into Taylor Swift. Okay. I was about so. to say it wasn't Tay Tay. What's wrong with Tay Tay? A lot. Oh my God. <laughs> It's like, oh my god, she I'm, like. I'm sorry, welcome CCP welcome to the extended I'm, edition of Push to yeah. Talk, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we want everybody to get that fucking drop, okay? Uh, no, Taylor. Yeah, we, we're only doing that for the drops. <laughs> you know, Tay Tay <laughs> is a, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman, but goddamn, who would in their right mind actually date that? I mean, she's just Seriously, gonna. Re she's, remember, she's, remember she's back so in mean. the day, right? If you, if you, you go mean, back almost like immortalized in a, yeah, 20 plus so. years, right? There, there, there was this icon called Madonna, right? You remember yeah. how the old people talked about her? That's you now, Eric. No, 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 no. <laughs> I talk, no, 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 you, you picked, you picked, the, you picked the wrong artist. Okay. Like Britney Spears, Madonna, uh, Taylor Swift. Okay. They're they're all very attractive, all very beautiful in their in their time, and I wouldn't want to have anything to do with any of them. They're Still, all scary. You sound exactly okay. like okay. I would people. not. Well, I would not. Hey, hey, hey! I would not. I would not have sex with any of those women with your dick, Caleb. Just putting it out there. Okay. No, 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 no. no, no. They're, they're not. Hang on, they're, they're, they're bad. Whoa, Caleb. Hang on. Caleb, hang on a minute. Hang on. Just a minute. I'm completely volunteering. <laughs> We've done our one last thing. Should we really be <laughs> exposing no. the yeah. entertaining yeah. people? <laughs> yes. This. Yes, surrender. Good news, Eric. What? The whole, the whole. You wouldn't have sex with any of them with Caleb's dick. Yeah. Good I'm volunteering. You're in no danger of it. 
What did you I say? Have, I have volunteered for all of them. I, I said, good news, <laughs> you're in no danger of it. <laughs> I'm in no danger of it. <laughs> you, you don't need to commandeer it at all, Eric. I, I, I will... I will do He's donating. You're, you're, you're I'm do doing it myself. He, he, you're he you're donating it himself. That's right. He's he's donating it in the in the sp to science. <laughs> for science. For science. Exactly for, Sci science. for science. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I just I just think it's it's hilarious to to hear your comments. Yeah. They they I, sound no. so much oh, like what I, I had to listen to. 25 plus years ago. No, 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 don't, no, no, don't, no. don't get me wrong. Guys, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I did, I, I did uh -huh. like Madonna's and uh, Britney Spears. Did like some of the music. I, I, Britney Spears. This is what just happens when we give Eric the button. We just, we, we're, we're still here five, ten minutes after our one last thing's going. I think like, only, arguing about look, we're giving, we're giving. We haven't gotten through the one last thing. We're, we're, the Eric, only the problem with Tay Tay is action. that she's too no, no, no. I did my one last thing. to the past. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Not at all, pretty sure. Hi, Don. Meeting over? Okay, well, uh, we can, Dawn, Dawn, Dawn can help us in our predicament. Yeah. What's your one last thing, Dawn? Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. By the way, we're giving Tam Tam nightmares. That's awesome. Hi, Don. You just woke up. Yeah. You sound like it. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Dawn. Does that mean you missed the entire meeting? Sure did. Good oh. job. Well, there will be, <laughs> that, somebody will have made a decision, and some, there will be that no is some first-rate directoring. There was it is. That's good. <laughs> in the meeting. But uh, seriously, Eric. Oh well. You then, need to yes, add yes. prune juice. To you need to add prune meeting. juice to your wish list. And you have to order that uh, uh, exam from your doctor, can, can I think. We, can, can we which which exam is that? Up? The one can we, you can we keep getting? Can we <laughs> let let Eric go now and you know just move on, people? Oh, okay, who's left for the one last thing? Anybody? I think Don. Don, you want to do one last thing? Not even. I was up till six a.m. playing Baldur's Gate three. Um, yeah. It's a good game, and people should play it with me. There you go. Yeah. All right. Less that was said about the sexual escapades, the probably the better. All right. Drink up, me hearties. <laughs> it's the end of the year. Twenty twenty four is right around the corner, and that you know our next show is next year, guys. Ooh. The sixth of that. January. I haven't, I haven't come. I haven't come to terms with it yet. You haven't come to terms <laughs> with it. No. As with every year, there will be a new year, and it will be a surprise to. It'll be well. You. Surely this year can't be as worse as last year, and then it's I like, oh fuck's sake! Say hold it. on, fucking hold on. hell, man! How the fuck is it a surprise to you? I, I was literally, I'm touching wood here, so like you know. Matt hold is wait, speaking hold wait, 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 wait. into the universe while Landis is here, going like, "How is it a surprise? To me? What? Hold it! It hold just it, happens. Re Where rewind, did this rewind. year go? I don't fucking know." Re rewind that. What the fuck did McCloud say? He's touching what? Wood. Okay, that's what I thought he said. <laughs> it is wood. It's not mine. It's on the Aero Tour. <laughs> <laughs> stop, watching, know. <laughs> stop watching that documentary tour movie, McCloud. Uh, All right. God's sake. You know what they say. You know, keep calm, carry on, whatever you need to do, McCloud. You know. <laughs> Whatever gets me through the last of this fucking year. <laughs> Jack Daniels and a lot of it. There you, you go. You live in the UK, Mac. You have no idea how much you, fun you will have in 2024. Oh, every crisis is a new opportunity. One more hour of last days. in this fucking country, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> You're getting fucking hard no. in that uh, <laughs> adamantium kind of way. Oh, God. <laughs> Let, right, Why you gotta make it weird, Caleb? <laughs> it's my job. It's, it's my job. only job on this show. <laughs> it's only job. Uh, All, right, All right, Caleb. So, on the uh, on the sixth. <coughs> excuse me. Can't just be calm. Breathe. On the on the sixth of uh, January, we want your update on your pursuit of uh, Taylor, Madonna, and Brittany. All right, let yeah. me know. Let us know how well, that goes. One is easier to catch than the other because she's elderly. 
Oh. And, and apparently okay. looks like an alien we, now. We, we've <clears throat> we've gone past the realms of decency here for a, 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 a long time. By the long, way, by the way, by the way, have we stretch. ever been anywhere near the realms of decency? I mean, I didn't want to <laughs> say it specifically, point. but you know, we can at least attempt. Uh, please, <laughs> please push the button. We're, we're, we're going to be here right. for another half an hour if you don't. Know. We are out of here. Happy New Year, everyone. We'll see you. All right. Let's see if the sound works.